Actually, like what I told you, that uh, Brother Kipa is supposed to uh, share the Word of God or give testimony, but he was not here. So, let's open a Bible. If you have your Bible with you, in the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 32. Numbers chapter 32. Verse 23. Numbers chapter 22. 32. Verse 23. 32. Verse 23. Uh, let's all stand as we give reverence to the reading of God's word. Numbers 32. Verse 23. Let's read this all together. Ready, start. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Let's bow our heads and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for opening your words and help you, God, to give us, Lord, a receptive heart to listen to your word. Not only, O oh God, to be a hearer of your word, but be a doer of your word. Anoint my lips of clay and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Speak to hearts and lift up your name and draw us closer unto you. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Okay. Uh, in what we have just read, uh, my topic for today is uh, we cannot sin successfully. All right, you cannot sin successfully, and uh, nobody win in the game of sin. All right, we always play a losing game uh, in the game of sin. Okay, uh, remember what happened. Remember what ha what happened with the uh, with Haman, who sought to destroy. God's people in the book of Easter and the gallows that he prepared to hang Mordecai was the same gallows that he was hung. Okay? That's the principle of sowing and reaping. Whatsoever that in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. But the philosophy of many people today is sin now, pay later. It's like uh, play now, pay later, okay? Uh, and uh, uh, there are many people today that are being deceived by the deceitfulness of sin, all right? Sin is a folly to deceive you. It is a force to destroy you. It is a path to condemn you, and only fools mock at sin. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 9. And sin is a universal problem. Actually, uh, sin is a forgotten word in the vocabulary of modern men, and even many pulpit today. Uh, the idea of sin is no longer preached. And uh, that's the reason why it's really hard to discuss about uh, separation from sin and separation from the word. Okay? And there are many people today that change the name of sin. Okay? Uh, they consider it personality disorder or uh, new morality or what we call alternative lifestyle. Uh, don't you know that the denial of sin is the devil's chloroform? Okay. Uh, all of us are prone to cover up our sin. Okay. And uh, there is one uh, church member who came to a pastor and said, uh, Pastor, I am deeply troubled about the problem that I know I'm hurting my testimony. And 
he said, he said this, uh, I exaggerate. But the pastor said, Mom call it lying. <laughs> what you call it exaggeration, it is lying. All right? Some people call it relapse. But God calls it rebellion. Okay? People call, uh, the uh, people call um, an attitude. But God calls it abomination. All right? Some so, some, some even call it uh, live-in, which but God, uh, the Bible calls it fornication. Okay? And uh, God calls it sodomy. But uh, people call it gay. Gay rights. Okay? And, and so forth and so on. Let us call what it is. Alright? And not do the, and not change the name. Polite names of sin. Some people call it white lies or pink lies. Uh, there's no such thing as la pink lie and white lie. See, lie is the lie in the eyes of God. Okay? Uh, and uh, Numbers chapter 32, verse 28. Uh, God spoke through Moses that the Bible said, Be sure your sin will bind you up. Let me give you five things regarding this. Sin will bind you up in your body. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh, we are just studying about uh, strong drink and we are studying about uh, smoking and uh, you, you know, you can hide your sin but it will always affect your body. The use of alcohol brings disease to the liver, okay? And also vehicular accident, all right? And uh, the use of tobacco and smoking can damage your lungs and give you cancer, all right? Because of uh, nicotine, okay? Criticism, or if you have a critical spirit, or bitterness, anger, all right, resentment, okay? You have a grumbling, got grumbling spirit, complaining spirit, ungrateful spirit that can be manifested in your body. You cannot hide uh, your sin because sin will find you out in your body. Number two, sin will find you out in your character. All right? Uh, certainly, uh, uh, I would la rather be short of character. I would rather short of gas rather than be short of character. All right? And you know the foundation of the ministry? It is character. All right? If you don't have a character, uh, you uh, uh, better not to uh, serve God because, you know, uh, God will never use unclean vessel for his name's sake. God will never use unsurrendered vessel for his name's sake. Okay? And uh, uh, th today there is no what we call no moral values, no moral standard. Every, everybody is doing it. Uh, that's what they, they do. Okay? But there's a principle in the Bible that we should not uh, uh, commit that sin. That principle is the principle of sowing and reaping. If 